Hi, and welcome to another episode of Stephen Helwig Talks Tech. Today, I'm doing my first DIY home video, and I'm gonna show you how to install this in-wall cable management system by Powerline. If you've ever mounted a TV on the wall, one of the problems you'll have is that if you don't have an in-wall system, you'll have cables and cords hanging down, either going into your entertainment center or plugging into the wall. Now, I've done this in the basement uh, a couple years ago, and I recently hang a, hung a TV in my bedroom, and I wanna do the same thing. So what this system will allow me to do is to put an outlet up here, as well as run HDMI and other types of component cables through the behind the drywall and out through the bottom if I wanted to hook it into a home entertainment system. So today I'm gonna to show you what tools you need and walk you through the steps of getting this installed. So the tools you'll need to complete this job are a level, a flathead screwdriver, a drywall saw, a pencil, and a stud finder. In addition, you'll need to have a Phillips head screwdriver handy. Now that we've gone over the tools, let's cover what came inside the packaging. So the first two items that come inside the package are these two boxes, these wall outlets that will go inside your walls. Now this is the top one, you can see it here, and then this is the bottom one. Now the way I know that is the top one includes an outlet for you to plug in your television, and the bottom one includes uh, an area for you to actually plug in an extension cord. And so the nice thing about this system is they've given you an extension cord, you'll plug this into the bottom outlet, and then you'll just hook it into your wall. And the great thing about that is it doesn't require you to run any electrical. You can use the existing outlets that are in your home to power the system. Now to get power from the bottom box to the upper box, they've included this cable which attaches to the back of both boxes. Additionally, in the packaging, you will have a set of instructions, and then you'll also have a wall cutout template. Now this template is gonna be placed on your wall and you can trace around it, and then you will use a, um, a drywall saw to cut out the rectangle that's the right size for the boxes. So the first thing that you're going to wanna to do is locate the studs, because you need to make sure you're cutting the outlet hole in between two studs. Now for me, I know where the studs are because I just hung this mount for my TV. And you have to drill the mount or screw the mount into the studs using lag bolts. So I know that my studs are here and here. However, if you've not done, uh, if you haven't done something like this, and you need to find your studs, you can buy a stud finder at your local home improvement store. And you basically start where you think there might not be a stud and you just move it over until you see it flash. And so I know that a stud starts here and I can do the same on the other side. I see a stud is here. So I know that between these two points, I have an opening in my drywall. So now I can go on to the next phase, which is to draw my rectangle and cut out the drywall. The next phase is to make the holes for the boxes. So in order to do that, you're gonna need a level, a pencil, and the template. And so you're gonna to wanna to put it in between those studs that we measured out earlier with the stud finder, and you can just rest a level on top of it. And you're just gonna to try to wanna to move it until it's about level. Okay, so not quite level yet. Okay, so that's close enough, okay? So from there, you're just gonna take your pencil and draw a box around it. Now it's hard to see because these walls are black, or as my wife says, charcoal. So it's hard to see, but I'm just gonna draw a rectangle like that. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut out our square with the drywall saw. So uh, you're just gonna go to the point and kind of poke in push and then start cutting. So the next thing that you're going to do is prepare the top box um, to be put into the wall and that means you need to connect the wire to it. So on the wire, you're gonna see, or this, this wire here, you'll see three wires inside of it. There's gonna be a black one, a white one, and then a bare, which is ground, okay? So if you look on the back of this, you'll see that it shows G for ground, W for white, and then the other one, uh, which is this one here, is, will be where you put the black screw in. 
So there's little screws on each side that you will unscrew um, to slide each one of these wires in and then you'll tighten that screw down which will secure it. You may need to strip some of this wire off, so if you have, need a wire stripper, um, go ahead and grab one. I think it should be long enough to slide in there. The other thing is that on the back of each of these boxes is this little cover uh, that slides over it like this. So when you're actually doing this, what you'll do is instead of, you're not gonna put it directly into the back, you're actually gonna slide these wires into here and they're gonna come up through the front and then you're gonna put them into that, uh, the box. And you'll do this on both sides, but obviously you can't do it on both sides before you have it into the wall. So I'll do it, I would do it on the top first and then feed this down the wall and then do it on the bottom side. So firstly, you're gonna to wanna to put a U-shaped bend into the cable. And once you have that bend in the cable, you're gonna feed it through the small hole in the bottom of the box that goes on the back of the outlet. And feed the cable through and kind of curve it down and put another bend in it. Once you've done that, you're gonna wire it into the back of the box like we discussed earlier. Once it's wired in, you're going to then pull the cable back down through that hole so it's nice and tight and shove the box onto the back of the outlet. Once it's on the back of the outlet, you'll notice there's four holes and in the package there will be four small black screws and an Allen wrench. So you'll drop those four screws into the holes and then you'll tighten it down using the Allen wrench. Now, once you have the box wired up and it does take a little bit of finagling to get it wired up and get the wire in there, but once it's in there, for this next part, all you'll need is a flathead screwdriver and that's it. And what happens is as you turn the flathead screwdriver, it actually pulls these little uh, clips out and they move slowly move towards it and basically cinch the drywall. So you can see here, it cinches this into the drywall and that's how it hooks into the drywall. So that's really the next phase. You'll need to uh, feed the cable, the wire down through the drywall Feed it in there. All right. And then slide in the box. Then once the box is slid in, you can slowly turn this. And turn it on the top. And you'll have to do this for a little bit before it catches. And you'll know it's in when it's not pinching up from the wall and easily movable. So just keep turning it. You don't want to over tighten it. So there, it's nice and snug. So you see we have power here, and then this is where we can slide down, slide any cables through. So the next thing you're gonna to want to do is cut the hole for the bottom uh, outlet. And you're gonna to want to do that in line, obviously, with where you cut the top hole. You can either uh, use like a long level or a ruler. Um, you can use a laser level to try to get the line of sight right or you can just eyeball it, which is what I do, because you can kind of tell at least where it is. It doesn't have to be directly above and below, but you want it to be pretty close. And in addition, you want to kind of look to see where the existing outlets are and make sure you cut it in the same area or the same height from the floor as those are. Now you can certainly do some measurements to make sure you get it exact, uh, but once again, this is kind of an eyeball situation for me. So I'm just going to cut those holes. It's going to be the same as the, the top. You're gonna use your template, you're gonna use your level, a, a screw, uh, pencil, and then you're gonna use your drywall saw. Now, once you've cut your next hole, uh, hopefully the cable will be hanging down. But if not, you just look kind of into the hole a little bit, shove your arm, it might've gotten stuck. You might have to undo the top box and wiggle with it. I had to stick my hand up a little bit and pull it down. But now I can see it and I can pull it out. And so now that we have our other end, we can take our second box and do the same thing that we did with the first box and get it wired up. So now that we have the bottom outlet uh, attached and connected to the top outlet, we take our extension cable, and we will plug it in here at the bottom, and then we just route it to our nearest power outlet. So I'm gonna put it in here. Actually, it won't hit, work with this, so I'll move this up top, and then this down below. Okay, very good. So this is what the final product will look like. So this is the upper one, and I think there's supposed to be a little bit of a status light 
a little circle, which uh, it's not glowing any color for me. However, I did test it with um, another device and make sure that it's working, so it is working. So that's what it looks like up top. And then if we pan down here, you'll see what it looks like at the bottom. So overall, that's the whole system. And so once the TV's mounted, you'll see it's nice and clean, no wires hanging down. Thanks again for joining me here on Stephen Helwig Talks Tech. I hope you enjoyed this video on how you can use the PowerBridge in-wall cable management system to hide your cables and bring powers to power to a mounted television system so you can have a nice clean looking setup for your mounted TV. This is the first DIY video I've done on the channel, so if you have any suggestions for others, please let me know in the comments below. As always, we appreciate every like and subscribe here on the channel, so please hit that like button, hit that subscribe, and let me know what you thought about the video. Thanks, bye.